Hey y'all, it's me, Miss White, coming to you from the brand new STEM lab in our brand spanking new primary school. I'm so excited. Hey, tomorrow's a big day. We're gonna be back at it. We've been working hard to get the rooms ready, get the school ready, get our plans ready. We're gonna have a good time. We got a lot of fun things planned. I'm so excited. So excited, I figured that it was time for another story. And I brought my friend, Jim Bob. Say hi, Jim Bob. He's shy. Anyway, I picked out us a cute little book that I thought was appropriate for back to school. Something we probably all need to remember tomorrow when we head back. It's called, We Don't Eat our classmates. And it was written by Ryan T. Higgins. Let's begin. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts to school. What are my classmates gonna be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with peonies on it. Peonies were Penelope's favorite because peonies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came. That's gonna be tomorrow for us. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Miss Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. <laughs> it's got a little slobber on it. <laughs> she tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here, she said. Penelope started to notice that everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. Poor Penelope. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, asked her father. Did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of just a little. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are just the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard, but poor Penelope couldn't stop herself. Miss Noodleman, Penelope ate William Omoto again, and they were all afraid of her.
except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Look at Walter. <laughs> Chomp. Eee, cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. Wah. Uh-oh. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when C.C. Woodrum spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you. Wanna help, want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks over at Walter and remember what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks his lips. <laughs> Because dinosaurs are delicious. <laughs> that's pretty stinking cute. Well, that's all I got. Y'all need to get you a good night's sleep. Get you some good rest. Because tomorrow is go time. I love you and I missed you. And I sure can't wait to see your little faces bright and early in the morning. Sleep tight.